So, man, uh, stuff I'm seeing in the news here, man. So, the real estate market, the market is changing. Here's exactly when three economists predict competition in the housing market it will decline. So, um, this is, you know, this is some newspaper I never heard of, but they quote some sources in here, and that's why I'm, like, bringing it to your attention here. It's not the news article. It's not fortune. It's not, you know, a reputable thing or something that, well, it's probably reputable, but not something that... We recognize. So mortgage rates on 30-year fixed loans have risen from around 3.5% to 56 and the pros say they could rise more. They are going to rise more. Dude, the Fed's already telling us this, right? So the reason I'm bringing this to you and I'm talking about this stuff is because I think that we need to be prepared for it. And the more we can prepare for it, the better it's going to be. Like now's probably not a bad time for you guys to start like, like going out there, making relationships with the banks and stuff. Because the foreclosure boom was so long ago, the banks don't really have those relationships anymore. A lot of those agents aren't even in the business anymore. And guys, if you want me to teach like some foreclosure classes and stuff, I've done some in the past. A lot of that stuff's still relevant. Um, if you want me to, drop it in the comments and say, hey, please teach a foreclosure class. And I'll be uh, happy to put that, try to put that together for you. But guys, Redfin here reported the first time in six months competition from home buyers fell slightly in March, right? And uh, multiple offers have decreased. I think that's really crazy. Um, well, I don't think it's crazy. I think it's just happening. It's happening. And we're seeing it everywhere. I was talking to an agent yesterday from Salt Lake City, Utah. He said a year ago there were only 2,000 houses on the market. Yesterday there was 4,600 houses on the market, right? So, by the end of summer, there will be less competition between buyers on listings as well as more homes on the market. This is true, man. This is true. Some areas have become popular migration destinations, including Tampa, Phoenix, Nashville, and Atlanta. They may see some higher rates. They may see some more competition because, or they may see a continuing of competition because, guys, there's people moving there. There's always going to be pockets in the country that are going to be hot. You know, you can't really tell. It's hard to do a macro view of the real estate economy. It's hard to look at macro and micro because there's some markets that, you know, something could change in that market. Jobs, plants opening, things like that, that creates a lot of people, a lot of people coming up into it. And then there's things that happen nationally, the macro version, which that's going to affect the financing of those houses. And that's the thing, guys. If people can't buy houses, if they can't get houses financed, it's definitely going to affect the market. So even with signs of housing market slow down over the next few months, buyers shouldn't expect a sudden bargain. That's correct. It's going to happen gradually, right? Or we hope it's going to happen gradually. Dude, the feds right now, right now, the feds are even, they're still talking about a 0.75% rate increase next time they meet. So, um, the guys, there's some stuff out there that's, you know, I mean, we're seeing it. We're seeing it. There's stuff in the news. Got to pay attention. Don't stick your head in the sand. Guys, if you like me bringing this sort of stuff to your attention, please hit the subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below.